What's up guys? It's your girl Shay OJ coming at you guys with another video. You guys already have seen the title of this video so I'm honestly just gonna get into it. This is not really the first time I've done a, a hair review but it is a first hair review for this channel and um yeah so I'm just gonna get into it because y'all already know what the deal is. So this hair is brought to you by Gwenya. <laughs> Gwenya. Gwen Yu Hair. I'm sorry, I'm gonna put the name right underneath here because I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but this is an AliExpress vendor. I did get this hair for $135 Canadian and it was not this color. So basically, I wanted to do this video specifically because this is not how the hair came in the box and I had a lot of people ask me about um, how I got to the color that I am at right now. Um, so this is a Brazilian Remy 12 inch 13 by 6 honey blonde unit so here's my story I was looking on Aliexpress for an ash blonde wig at first I really wanted a longer unit like maybe 20 22 inches um, but then I realized honestly I might not even like the color I'm not good at dyeing hair I've never well I've never done it before and um, I just wanted to get the hair exactly how it's supposed to be and when it comes to getting the right color for your skin it's a lot harder and I wanted to avoid having to dye the hair so I was looking for ash blonde units and I did find a couple but they were actually very expensive I'm saying the amount that I would have spent on a black um, unit 22 24 26 inches you know I can find a good unit for 180 to 200 dollars around that length but th that was the price for a ash blonde unit that's about um, 10 to 12 inches <laughs> Honestly, could not um, justify spending that much money on a 12 inch unit. Not me, not today. I'm not a hair dyer, I'm not in a professional hairstylist. So all I really know is how to install wigs and how to uh, style them and that's it. Nothing about dyeing or whatever. So for the dyeing process, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I used to get to this color. Um, to be honest with you guys, I shopped from, I was gonna shop from Sally Hansen's and I feel like it would've been a lot easier to communicate with you guys what I use because Sally Hansen is a pretty universal um, beauty supply. However, this is a brand I feel like that is pretty well known and you can always get it online. Um, and I hope that you guys can find it if you guys are looking to get this exact color. If I have any before pictures of this unit, I'll let you guys know, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. You know why? You know what? Honestly, I did not believe in myself. I did not think that this unit would turn out the exact color that I wanted to. I thought it would be like a throwaway wig, to be honest with you guys. So, so I have what the unit looks like on the model honey blonde but um yeah I, I i didn't even think that it was gonna turn out the way that i wanted it to turn out so i didn't even do any before and afters when i realized that honey blonde was, was not even remotely close to the ash blonde that i wanted is when i realized okay i'm gonna have to dye this and then i was like okay well it's probably not gonna turn out the way that i want it to turn out so um i had to take my l but i guess i didn't really have to take that bad of an l so Honestly, I don't even think this wig took to the color that I had applied onto it. I have no idea why. Um, maybe I just didn't dye it the way that I should have. Honestly, guys, I have no idea what I did wrong when I dyed it the first time. All I know is that this wig did not take to color. So I was a little pissed off because I thought, okay, maybe it's the wig that I bought that's not um, taking to color and it won't take to color. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, I was like, you know, let me try one more time. Maybe it was me. Maybe it was the application process. I wasn't really sure. And I bought this. So this is ice cream. And I bought a 30 developer. And I mixed the 30 developer with a little bit of the 40 that I had left from the last time that I had dyed hair. The exact color that I used, guys, this one's called Light Ash Blonde. And then this one is called Super Light Ash Blonde. So I ended up getting two, not of the same color, because I saw like a light ash blonde and a more darker ash blonde um, that they had and I liked the way that both of them looked so I was like you know what let me just snatch both if you really look closely I have a little bit of a highlight um, within the hair and it's kind of like you can see the light and you can also see the dark so this is kind of just a regular ash blonde and this one's a super light one so <laughs> I mixed the two together and it came out just like this ex literally exactly how I want it I would give this wig 9 out of 10 only because I kind of wish the hair was a little more bouncy a little more silky I've seen other girls with bobs and I feel like you know It's a, it's a little it's a little you know It's moving but 
not as much as I, as I wanted to move. And it kind of makes me feel like it's synthetic. It's not synthetic hair. It's definitely Brazilian Remy, like they said, like they stated. But I do feel like it's a bit, a little bit, bit, bit stiff. But other than that, the hair took amazing to the color. The hair is already cut nice and bluntly, which is what I was looking for. I did not want to buy a 12 inch unit and have to cut it down to 10 inches. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So I made sure that the vendor that I was getting the hair from made sure that it was a bob that was 12 inches. I will find out if the 613 color takes to these two shades the same way that this honey blonde did because I like I said I really really like this color and I don't really know if it's because I started off it started off as a honey blonde or what but um yeah so this is how it turned out I hope you guys like it if you guys end up using the same formula as I did to get to this color let me know and take some pictures and tag me in it because I'd love to see it and yeah that is it um that's it for my review thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for requesting this video i'll make sure that i'm staying consistent with these videos because i know that i haven't been but i really hope that you guys enjoy what i've already done thus far with this channel so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon peace